Hey guys, Zach King here with a Motion 4 tutorial. I'm going to be answering a question that I got this week uh, from a couple of people here. This is the effect. Some object rolls on screen and then wipes on the text and then wipes away the text. It's a cool looking effect. It kind of makes the video interact with your, your effect in the text. So here we go. Get started here. And if you want to follow along, by the way, go to www.finalcutking.com. Email me and I can get you access to the footage. So I'm going to delete all this stuff here and we're just going to start over. And I can also get you the motion file so you can see exactly what's going on here. So I'm just going to create some text. Final Cut King. Just pull up the size, the text, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just showing you what's going on here. And let's also change the color. Let's match this green on screen. There we go. Also want to create a drop shadow. Go to the inspector, style and drop shadow. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to center my text there. Hit N for snapping. You're going to see these lines come on, sweet. And as I play, we're just going to match up the ball right about here on the frame. And let's go ahead and notice how I made a separate group for the text. To do that, right click, new group, shift command N. And you also need to know that the group needs to be in 2D. This little icon here means it's in 2D. This is also in 2D. You can have other things, other groups in 3D, but just the text needs to be in 3D or else this effect won't work because you need to create a mask. Do that by coming up here. I'm going to use the rectangle mask shape. Your mask only needs to be as long as the text. So make sure the mask covers all the text and you're good to go. Sweet deal. So as you see, what a mask does is I move it off. You're going to see it deletes the text. It's pretty sweet. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to line it up here. These edges are hitting there. Right click on the mask. Edit points. Now, if you move your mouse on this red line, you're going to see it creates a pen tool with a little plus sign. And we're going to add that point. And what I'm going to do is smooth this out. I'm going to drag these two. Holding shift, you can grab two points. We're going to connect them right there. And I'm going to add a little feather here. And we need to move it on the text so we can see what the feather is looking like. It's a good looking feather, 36. I like that. So there's our feather. And what we're going to do is just start keyframing it from right here. And you also need to know to invert the mask. So check this. This is very crucial to the effect. And now, as we're pulling away, frame by frame, I hit record, and you're going to see I'm just moving it. And if we go back in the frames, you're going to see that it's keyframed with it. So move to the next frame. There we go. And we're going to go frame by frame. It's a little bit tedious. Sorry for the laptop clicking noise. I can't use my mouse right now. Now I could have, and I'll show you this at the end when we pull back the text, I could have just done one keyframe all the way across with the whole sweep of the ball, but I don't think the rolling speed is consistent enough to do that. You'll see what I mean here in a second when I show you how to do that. What I'm talking about. Frame by frame. There we go. Nice and slow. The tortoise did win the race. Okay. So if we play that through, the effect looks something like this. Okay, and you can go in individually and edit the keyframes. Let's move on when the ball returns. It's about to come in here, and we've got our mask. No big deal. We're just going to hit record again. And let's start bringing it in. Let's start it right there, and I'm going to take it when the ball ends and the text will be deleted past it. I'm just going to pull all the way across. And now you're going to see, if I go through frame by frame backwards, it might not match up completely. So far it's looking good. It's off right there. So we can come in and still at all these points. So that actually did have a pretty constant speed. 
right there. And the feather looks good. That's a good number, 36 on the feather. So there's the effect right there. Let's play it through and make sure that looks okay. Sweet. So there's your invisible text effect. It's really, it's not that complicated as you see. It, it can also be done in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that next week for you if I can pump that out. And you can see how to do it in Final Cut. But motion, like I always say, it's easier and uh, more flexible. So there's your text effect. You guys take care. FinalCutKing.com. Subscribe if you like these videos. See ya.